I basically always liked mathematics. And then the other thing I liked was mechanical things. Over the years, you might say the two melded, so I've always liked both aspects of this. Physicist David Weinland pioneered the science of using lasers to cool ions to near absolute zero and manipulate them for a wide variety of applications. Certainly a highlight for me earlier in my career was to be a part of some of these early laser cooling experiments. Basically all the experiments we've been doing since then rely in a crucial way on being able to cool the atoms with laser cooling. Wineland helped launch experimental quantum computing. Using electrically charged atoms to process information could eventually make impossible calculations possible. Each step is probably equally as hard, but I'd say it's all fairly an incremental developments. And in fact, it's probably like uh, Darwin's selection rule. Most of the things we try, most ideas we have are bad, but there's always a few good ones that keep us going. At the National Institute of Standards and Technology, Wineland leads an exceptionally creative research group. Their latest optical frequency standard is one of the most important developments yet in the ongoing quest for better atomic clocks. Our main line of business as physicists is try to make better atomic clocks. The primary example of the use of clocks is in navigation. The way modern atomic clocks help in navigation is how the global positioning system works. We can navigate nowadays to roughly uh, 30 centimeters precision. David Weinland's interdisciplinary contributions have strengthened our national security and enhanced America's technological leadership. I do find satisfaction in the fact that when we do something in the lab that we can actually step back and describe what we're doing with this beautiful mathematics that goes along with it. <laughs>